now proceed to very exciting formula in excel vlookup and drop down list here we check vlookup and drop down list combination so first of all we implement vlookup equal vlookup vlookup value asking for vlookup value we select this and asking for table array for table array we select this data You need to know that always select those table array in which lookup value must present in first column. Otherwise, it's not work. So here is a bullion number LRZ5095. So it's it is in first column. Comma. Then ask for column index number. Mean number of column which result you needed. So here we want to show the amount of fuel in liters. So we select four column four. From here, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then again, comma. Then asking for a true or approximate match or false or exact match. We want exact match here. So we select false or we can also select. We can also add zero. Sorry, zero. Now it's showing twelve. For uh, this uh, balloon, it's take twelve liter fuel in morning shift. Now uh, go for drop down list. Here uh, is go for data. Here is in uh, data validation. Data validation, any value, select from list. Then there is range. We want to add list on this cell, this column. Then OK. Now this whole column drop down list available here. You can uh, copy from it and paste here. Now uh, you check. You select here from anyone. Now it's showing five. There is a, a combination of VLOOKUP and drop down list. From drop down list, you can select everyone from this list and its VLOOKUP value showing here. You can check and cross verify it is true or not. Uh, for example, we select LE7038. Now check here 7038. Amount of fuel is 13 liter and here also is 13 liter. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.